Greetings everyone. Today we're gonna to be talking about the CRKT SPEW. Stick around. just wanted to take a moment to say hello to everyone and thank you for taking time to watch this video. Let's get rolling. You know, not every knife video or video in general I do as a review. Sometimes I just like getting on here and talking about all these things that we love. And I know so many of you who are watching videos like this, you love talking about everyday carry and you love talking about knives in particular. I've got some compact minimalistic knives that I'm going to be talking about over the next couple of weeks. And I'm just kind of kicking off this conversation with the SPEW from CRKT. Now this stands for Small Pocket Everyday Warrencliffe. This video is not gonna be so much of a review as much as it is a show and tell. I'm gonna start off with my favorite feature and that is the way it carries. It carries very comfortably. The neck knife feature is really great. I use it often. I can put it around my neck here, down my shirt, and uh, it just feels very light. It's only like three ounces, easy to pull. Very nice feel in the hand. But if you don't want to carry it around your neck, you can mount this little clip to the sheath, allowing you to carry it horizontally. That's my primary go-to is horizontal carry, and this carries amazing horizontally. The second thing that grabbed my attention about the SPEW is the handle, the G10 scales here. That's a beautiful handle. I want to put that up close. That is just a gorgeous handle. And, you know, out of all the CRKT minimalistic style blades, uh, I prefer this one to all of them. I have the minimalist drop point, and I've been entertaining getting a couple of the others, but this is the one by far that I like the best. In my state, you can't conceal anything over three inches, and this is exactly a three inch blade. It's got a non-reflective high carbon stainless steel blade. I can't tell you how many times I looked at this thing on Amazon and didn't buy it while it was 20 bucks. And then the day that I was ready to buy it, I went back and it was like 30 some bucks at the time, so I didn't get it. A few weeks later, I was in Walmart picking up some stuff and decided to visit the the knife display as I always do. And I saw this blade sitting on the shelf and I picked it up that day. I was able to get it for 20 bucks. And I went out to Amazon today to look it up and it looks like it's still priced around 20, 21 bucks. Let's talk about the blade a little bit more. You know, for anybody wondering if this is sharp, it's razor sharp, very sharp blade, uh, very thin. I'm gonna turn it around so you can see it from both sides. You can see how thin that point is. For those who are interested in these details, this knife was designed by Alan Foltz of Melbourne, Florida. You know, friends, I'm gonna be straightforward with you. When it comes to a blade like this, I don't tend to nitpick the steel. I don't start nitpicking steel until this is a blade that I'm gonna beat the living tar out of. But for something like this and what it's used for, this is really all I'm looking for. I like that you can get blades like this from CRKT at a very affordable price because we know what something like this is for. Yeah, you might use it for light duty, but I think a lot of us for the most part knows what a blade like this is for. If somebody only had about 20 or 25 bucks to spend on a last ditch blade, something smaller that they wanted to carry around and conceal, I gotta put the CRKT spew way up there. It's good looking, beautiful knife, the neck knife feature and the horizontal carry is fabulous. It's very sharp, very piercing, feels good in the hand. And I am super excited that I have bought this. This carries very comfortably. Also too, like where the jimping's at here, it's a nice little grip feature there. You can see that. All right, so that's a home run hit by CRKT. The SPEW is an awesome little everyday carry. And I wanted to get on here today and talk a little bit about it. I'll drop an Amazon link for you down in the description. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you next time.